Hello everyone. Recently on the channel, I put out a motion control show reel, which is a reel of all of the uh, times I have used this bad boy right in front of us. This is my motion control unit, and today I will be giving you a, a brief showcase into how it works. Apologies if you hear any background noise in this video. I have got the fan on because I have decided that today is a good day to record it, and it is it is uh, apparently the hottest day of the year so far in the UK, which is where I'm based. It is uh, around 30, 31 degrees Celsius, I think. If you use Fahrenheit, I'm very sorry, you have to convert that yourself. This is my motion control rig. It has a name. I've called it Dave, the Digital Animation Vision Enhancer. I do love a good acronym. And it is my motion control rig. Uh, in my first year of university, I got into motion control as a concept, and then over my degree, I have been researching and building this. And I got it working in my th in my second year, but in my third year, uh, that's when I really got it uh, finished and working on projects. Um, it has three axes on it currently. Fourth one is still in works at the moment. Um, needs more components for that, but more on that later. So currently it can do three axes, which is a pan, which is this, this movement, a tilt, which is when the camera goes up and down, and a track, which is when the camera travels along the rails on here. I'm using three stepper motors. Um, to keep things simple, stepper motors are really, really precise. And when you want to move the camera very slightly per frame as you're animating along, the precision is what you're after, not necessarily the speed. It is made out of a lot of aluminium angle. Uh, got my brother to help me with the 3D printing. So we have 3D printing brackets here and there, as well as uh, other areas where we have used the 3D printing. We've got some rails here with some linear bearings along the bottom there. And uh, we have all of the uh, wires will go into a box which has all of the electronics in, which I will show you in a second. Here on the uh, front of the rig, we have a bit of 15 millimeter rod, which is a standard thing for mounting stuff on, which is what the focus unit goes on. We've got uh, a mixture of belts, which are used for the uh, pan and the tilt function. And on the track function, we have, um, we have a, uh, a lead screw which has got a bit of copper, copper grease on, for anyone who knows what that is, uh, to help it move a lot better. The base is made out of wood um, to help keep costs, costs down, um, but do bear in mind this is the first rig I have built, with the help of my family and friends of course, and it has been uh, quite the learning curve, and there are quite a few things I would do differently if I were to make it again and I would love to make another rig at the moment if just because I am a poor penniless student and I can't afford it at the moment. This is the main rig. I'm now going to move on to the, the box or the box of gubbins as I like to call it and we will have a brief overview of that. Here is the electronics box. So as we can see we have, it's basically a big wooden box, inside is a power supply, uh, a little Arduino board which acts as the sort of interface between the rig and the computer. Uh, we have a USB port here which connects the, the uh, rig to the computer which in turn connects it to DragonFrame which allows um, me to control the rig directly from the animation software so everything is all integrated very nicely. Um, they've really thought the software through and it's no surprise it's the industry standard at the moment. Uh, here we have some plugs, uh, they're four pins because of the four wires that come out of the motors and as you can quite clearly see we have a tilt, pan, track and lens which is your focus module and then these on the top is what channel it is wired internally just so just in case um, when you're programming the rig in initially in Dragon Frame you know how to label each unit, how to label each 
channel so you're not confusing the track and the tilt function or the pan and the track um, which is easy for future reference all of this is 3d printed um, very nicely by my brother really appreciate that this is uh, an old switch at the top for a previous version as you can see it's version 2.3 uh, it'll probably change at some point but yeah so the switch does nothing it's a bit of a nice uh, aesthetic, cho aesthetic choice sorry and got a little LED that's sadly not wired to anything um, we have the plugs uh, this is what they look like so this is the one for the tilt motor as they're all color coded and that just plugs in here like that which is a, a very nice way to sort of connect this box to the rig and to disconnect it afterwards to make it easier to move around inside we've got plenty of vents so nothing overheats in fact it is very good at cooling itself um, whenever I put my hand over these vents on the top it's always really cold air coming out uh, here's another example of the uh, color coding so we've also got this with the track as well uh, still in the process of changing the uh, old spiral banding to this nice new sort of non-stick cable sleeving um, yeah this is the power supply and last but not least we have the focus unit now the focus unit is completely 3d printed uh, with exception of a few nuts and bolts here and there here we go let's have a look at it so that's just a reminder of what sort of motor is inside it it's got some labels so you know it's mine and this is the right hand side version of that here we go it's probably more in focus um, now these 3d files uh, come from a motion control technician who builds massive versions of these rigs i got in contact with him on instagram he has been ab so amazing and so helpful um, especially in this part of the project because uh, right at the start I was actually quite stumped when it comes to trying to put a focus unit on this thing and he very very kindly provided the files for this for free and as well as a lot of knowledge which has saved me quite a few times. Uh, his name is Simon Titherley and I will try my best to link his uh, Instagram or YouTube in, in this video somewhere or in the description below. Um, because he does some absolutely amazing work and we love some and you should definitely check it out uh, here is a cog that will sit on the lens as well uh, also one of Simon's files uh, I've got the wrong size bolt on the top just because it's the only thing I had access to but basically you put the lens through this smaller hole on the inside and then you tighten around the outside and then the cogs uh, on the outside will engage with the uh, focus puller here we have um, this is the other side because I printed out both side brackets so this is a left side bracket and it's still got the motor in it's a smaller motor than the uh, ones on the rig and it's slightly more slightly less powerful but it does the job and it still works unless I blew it up in my last test um, so yeah this will go into the 15 millimeter rod as I mentioned earlier and that will engage with the motor and here inside we have some cogs here and there we got a couple of misprinted ones that i have yet to dispose of and then we have like another gear that will move and engage with the motor and with the uh, and with the lens ring four pin socket here 3d printed um, which will go into the power pack in the in the correct socket it's important that we get this one in the correct socket however is because we have this motor can't take as much current as the other ones um, so if we were to plug that in something somewhere would go pop and that would be bad and expensive to uh, to replace so that is the uh, that is the focus unit well I think that is about as much as I can say before I can get too technical um, for this video um, again apologies for any background noises got the fan on hottest day of the year and apologies for the camera angle uh, things are a bit hectic I've got a lot of things to sort out but I wanted to take time to make this video for you um, because I'm not a very good uh, uploader if you're interested in more behind the scenes sort of photographs and stuff I have an Instagram account uh, C Grant animation give that a follow if you want to see more I do post more frequently on there thanks to everyone that's helped me with this project it's been a right pain at times but I'm very happy with what we've made 
and uh, I'm very excited at the prospect of making more of these in the future should I acquire enough funds or if anyone would like me to build it for them I'd be quite happy to uh, with what I've learned on this project please like the video please subscribe make sure the notifications are on I feel a bit cheesy saying all this but it is very important because I'm not sure when I can upload due to um, being between projects at the moment make sure you keep subscribed so you're up to date on my content and know when I do release it thanks very much for watching and I hope you all take care and enjoy the rest of the autumn now <laughs>